friends welcome to my hospital at ranaghat west bengal india this is a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis and this kind of cataract is ideal for an eye surgeon to start direct job let us observe this surgery by this time the main incision has been made this is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose it is used to fill up the anterior chamber and now i am going to make two side ports in this case this is the side port on the left side my plan is to use bimanual irrigation aspiration in this case this is another side port so two side ports have been made on either side of the main incision about 2 and 1/2 clock hours away and now capsulorexis in this case i found the anterior chamber very shallow so i decided to do the rexis with the needle itself and uh, here it is the 26 case bent needle cystitome creates a flap the flap is flipped and it is guided all around and an adequate sized capsulorexis is performed by the needle itself because the anterior chamber was very shallow in this case now hydro dissection with 27 gauge cannula attached to a 2 cc syringe with bss the fluid wave goes to the opposite equator the nucleus is tapped and the nucleus is rotated and now 2% spmc is injected again in this case i will not clean the superficial cortical matter because the anterior chamber is very shallow and here goes the tip of the phaco handpiece it is introduced bevel down and i remain here turn the tip don't clean the superficial cortical matter because the anterior chamber is very shallow and here i go into the substance of the nucleus and go through the nucleus for a distance and then chop it the key is you hold the nucleus very firmly go for a distance come back to position 2 that is vacuum hold the nuclear pieces or the nuclear mass very firmly and then chop you can see that the consistency of the nucleus in this case is such that you can chop it very easily and here it is the nucleus is managed almost and this is a big thick epinuclear piece and this is a nucleus again and this is also nucleus and we are towards the end of the nucleus epinuclear management i remove the chopper towards the end and here it is we can see a lot of cortical matter is there and inject visco and in this case i'm going to use bimanual irrigation aspiration and it is not at all difficult to use bimanual irrigation aspiration the irrigation is through the right side port aspiration through the left and i have started aspirating the cortical matter see how quickly and how nicely you can remove the cortex with the help of this bimanual irrigation aspiration most of the cortical matter has been removed only a bit of cortex which is sub paracentesis incision at 2 o'clock is there and it is being removed now 
And now, polishing of the post posterior capsule is to be done. I have gone to IA2 mode, that is capsular polishing mode where the vacuum is very less. And now I'm going to use only Yes, still I am in capsule polish mode. Clean the posterior capsule, removing the lens fibers. And it appears quite clean now. And now, in this case, I'm going to implant the lens filling up the AC and bag with visco and here goes the intraocular lens it is a hydrophobic single piece monofocal lens this is sensor single piece lens no financial interest and now the lens is oriented in such a way that the haptics are about 90 degree away from the main incision. Now, thorough cleaning of viscoelastic substance is essential. I uh, irrigate the anterior chamber. And now, uh, use irrigation and aspiration together. And uh, now I put the irrigation behind the lens in the capsular bag and aspirate in this way thorough cleaning of viscoelastic substance is done. This is a bit of moxifluxacin. Now the side ports, the paracentesis openings are to be closed. The stroma on either side of these stab incisions are hydrated, do adequate hydration and inject fluid on the scleral side of these stab wounds, not on the corneal side. And this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. Form the anterior chamber very nicely after the final lavage and conclude the case. Always check the integrity of the wounds. There should not be any leakage from any side. This is how you form the AC and check the wounds and then conclude the case. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Do a great service to the mankind.